Um, I'm, I'm pretty fickle, I guess, about it. Um, sometimes I have, a, I have a few favorites. Um, tulips is one. Starving is one. Pharmacy is one. Um, incoming tide in its way is one. Um, I guess those are probably <laughs> my favorites at the moment. I have a question for you, uh, Ms. Trout. Uh, do you have, are you working on something? I am. Is it like this, like Olive? Um, I, I don't think that anything I do is, you know, really too much like what I've done. Um, I, I, I don't know what it's like. It's not probably like this. I, I don't know. <laughs> I no it's idea. hard to talk about work that you're working on. It's, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's never easy for a writer to do that. Well, it's changing every That's second. the other point. Yeah. It changes every, yeah. every So revision. whatever I told you would immediately become false. So. Yeah. So maybe it will be like this. I don't know. <laughs> well, I understand uh, Olive Kitteridge was, uh, or short stories that went over a long period of time that you wrote... Um, and Beverly, uh, so may I ask, how long, pedestrian question, how, how long did this process take you? In the well, I, I had to work um, before my daughter got up for school and before I went for my job. And I had, there are people here who were at that job and they had no idea when I came in that I'd already been up writing for a couple of hours. But uh, it took seven years of doing it that way, actually. Yeah. I just want to ask you both, is there a different process um, writing short stories as opposed to one big sweeping story, or is it the same? You want to take it? Go ahead. I'll think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's a different process. Um, I think one of the feelings that you have as a writer when you're writing short stories is a sense of beginning and end in a swoop very quickly. And you need to take shortcuts. You need not to say a lot of things even though you're explaining many things. You have more um, time and you, you have a more of a sense of a larger tapestry when you do a novel. And so you can linger. And by lingering, you also deepen what you're writing. I um, kind of oddly don't find it to be that different. Uh, um, there are the obvious differences. A, a novel is more frightening because there's this whole long period of time where you just don't know if you, you lose sense of the shape. Um, and that's a particular kind of terror among the many that w any writer I think um, feels but I'm you know I'm a real sentence person and every sentence has to hold its weight and has to hold that resonance and tension of whether it's a short story or a novel so um, I find myself in many ways working the same um, except for the you know larger sense of trying to see Did you know when you, uh, at what point did you know that these were, in fact, that the, the short stories were in fact becoming a novel? When did that happen? Oh, immediately. I, I, I really didn't um, think stories or novel. I just thought, oh, I mean, I wrote one of the stories, and there she was, and I thought, oh, Olive's going to have a book. She's going to take up a book. I mean, she, she kind of had to. <laughs> she kind of like, so, um and I sort of understood it would be kind of in story form, but I didn't, I didn't think a lot about it. It was just there for me. But she's episodic, so the form fit, you know, the, the story in the sense. Ms. Strat, I read your book and I enjoyed it very much. I was very pleased with the ending. 
I think I uh, read you're in Brooklyn. Um, not any longer. I'm in Manhattan now. I was wondering why you chose Maine. Um, I spent 25 years living in Maine and um, 25 years living in New York. And that leaves out three years. I guess I was in Syracuse. <laughs> but um, I, I come from Maine. I come from Maine. And I, I spent the first half of my life there. And my parents are, were um, very, you know, very much from Maine. Forever and ever. Yeah. Any more questions? All right. Well, thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you to El all of oops, Elizabeth Strout, sorry. <laughs> I'm and, yeah, and Beverly Goligorsky. <laughs> Thank you all for coming tonight. They're going to stick around and sign books for you, so come on up. And uh, you can find out about upcoming events at strandbooks.com. Thank you all for coming.